Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a look at a launcher called Launcher X. It's a launcher that's intending to be the last launcher you'll ever consider getting. It's highly customizable and the developer is open to suggestions. If you'd like to find a feature in there that you don't see right now, you can contact them and get information as far as how to get that incorporated into the next update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out Launcher X. This is TK and this is XTA TV. <laughs> Overall, it's a very customizable launcher. So if you press and hold the home screen uh, on the main screen, you'll notice that we have different video effects. Here right now I have snowy winter, uh, weather um, and it actually does settle and you'll notice here it's sitting on the, uh, on the actual uh, dialer on the chrome, on the camera, and it will sit, and it's really a, a really, really nice effect. There are different ones. There's wind, uh, rain, again, if you want to do that. Uh, there's also cloudy, and then thunderstorms, in case you want to just go, you know, you want to make your device match what's outside, uh, and then cloudy. And of course, you can just turn off all of these things and go back to a normal, uh, just regular home screen. Swiping from the left, it gives you the ability to have quick toggles on the top, uh, again, with uh, some functionality for access to certain applications. Uh, recent application, you can add some shortcuts to favorites, as well as the ability to clean up your RAM um, in case you want to basically just empty out whatever's running in the background. Getting into the settings is pretty simple. You press home, you have the settings tab here. You can add widgets, wallpaper from here. Again, change the different weather uh, themes here. And they're only, they only apply to the main screen, so it doesn't work within the app drawer itself. Going into the settings, this is where we get the most amount of power that we can get. Um, it's organized by tabs, so if you switch from the left side, it defaults to the, de to the desktop when you first launch it, and then you have a drawer uh, customization, dock customization, you know, slide a sidebar, folder, theme and UI, uh, the unread count, of course, gestures, advanced, um, of course, about, and then rating the application itself. But that's not where it stops. You have the ability to basically go into the plus sign, and then doing a quick search within it to any functional setting that you'd like to basically look at it. So let's say you want to look for um, app specific settings. Um, so we're going to look for apps here. I'm going to take away the keyboard. We'll notice that the desktop rig here, choose application, wallpaper, scrolling, uh, app drawer style, uh, hide apps and app animation. Those are the things I was kind of looking for. Uh, of course, we can end it here and then go back. Uh, what we have initially essentially is the ability to customize almost everything. Uh, you have the ability of turning on OK Google, and that's one thing too. You can go plus, click here, and then it takes you directly into the gestures and buttons, and then you can actually see their voice out word for OK Google. You can use it to turn it on. Um, home button right now, it does nothing, but you can customize that as well. All the functional uh, swiping functionality, you can swipe down, open it up, and uh, you can swipe up to actually go to settings. Uh, we'll go back into settings again. And then again, it defaults back to drawer. Uh, so desktop here, like I said, we have the ability of customizing almost all the, you know, the layout, uh, management as far as minimum desktop, status bar, scroll, uh, widget setup, new apps. And as far as you want to be adding basically a new icon for them whenever you install a new application, it actually kind of mirrors the setting that you get within the uh, Play Store, but that's not there. Uh, of course, here now we're under the drawer. You can customize the grid size, the background, the menu, the drawer uh, grouping, and then folder lists. Again, so much customization. Docs, we can go in and then customize the app drawer uh, button and then dock icons and then you know dock pages with all the good setups. Almost, I, I can almost say that, honestly, since I come from using Nova Prime, it has everything that I need as far as just customizing. Configuring quick apps, drag handles. Uh, you want to be aware that there is a premium and a free version. Right now we're running a complimentary premium version that was provided to us for review purposes uh, from the developer himself. And we'll go back here. And then we're going to go directly into folders. You can, again, just anything that you can imagine customizing within the folders themselves. Theme and UI, this is, again, where you can change the icon theme. Right now it's running the system theme uh, icon, but if you had installed icon packs, this is where you can switch them. Uh, scrolling speed, animation, of course. Uh, and then you go under the unread count. This is where you can turn on, again, if it has an unread count for emails, you can turn it just on and customize them, of course. We go back into gestures. Again, very fast, very smooth. Um, overall, in the amount of time that I've been using this for about a week and a half, almost two weeks, I did not see this launcher show up in my battery usage, so there's no concerns as far as basically being a persistent or using a lot of battery. Um, and about advanced section where you can back up and restore it, and of course you can reset the default and restart Launcher X in case if you're having any problems. 
about and help, this is where you can get help from the developer himself. Um, here's his contact, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. And of course, uh, he gives credit to the contributors and all the people that helped him out to get the actual Launcher X. As you guys saw with the hands-on, extremely customizable from down to every single level of, you know, the, the app drawer, the background, the, uh, the uh, even the snowy effects that you guys saw on the actual uh, display. That's not a background or that's not a live wallpaper. It's part of the, uh, as far as the launcher itself. And you can change them to be different. Uh, the one thing I definitely do like here is the side panel. You can definitely open it up, check different things, add shortcuts, add uh, functionalities, or even quick access to applications. Uh, you have gestures, uh, you have customizations of the app drawer, um, icon packs, of course, if you want to be able to change those. All of the things that you'd normally expect from the launcher uh, are definitely very functional and very present here. There is a light version when you download it directly from the Google Play Store, and then you have the option of upgrading to Pro. Uh, I want to say thank you definitely to the developer for providing us a copy here to be able to review for you guys. Um, I do want to also mention here that if you have purchased in the past uh, Launcher 10, which used to be the previous version uh, before this upgrades, the major upgrades that went through to get into Launcher X, uh, the developer will definitely get in touch with you as far as if you're willing to get in touch with them first and uh, you know work out the process for you to be able to get into launcher x um, overall very nice launcher uh, very customizable very nice um, i like it very much i'm actually converting to it using from nova prime as you guys know for years now i've been using nova uh, i just find that some of the functionalities that i have here uh, were in nova and then there's additional ones that i didn't have uh, that work really nice and again, uh, the ability to search within the settings within the actual launcher itself is something that sometimes can be daunting because you're getting so many options, you don't necessarily know where to go to customize the app or where to go to, to change the drawer size. Just do a search within the actual app itself. Really nice. Uh, and again, the effects on the home screen, very cool. They land and they'll sit on the icon pack, whichever one you have. Uh, it's really, really nice. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, again, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Compare this to some of your other launchers. What do you think? And uh, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.